So this is it. Domestic football across the continent may all be done and dusted in the major leagues. But now we have the ultimate spectacle to conclude the season. The earliest phase in qualifying started way back at the beginning of last summer. And now there are just two teams standing. A show not just for the capacity crowd here, but one for the whole world. The global audience, they say, some 300 million. question that this is one of the most striking structures in all of sport, the Allianz Arena. So we're almost there. All one can see, a look of utter focus on the faces of all involved. You've been there, Jim Beglin. What will they be thinking as they wait for the whistle? Well, you're right, Peter, I have been in this position, and the message is usually something like, remember all the work, the hard work you've put in to get this far. So don't leave anything out there now. Do what you're good at. It's better than what they can offer. Stick to that, and you hope it'll be enough. Well, this is it. All square after 90 minutes. There will be extra time. Well, nil nil doesn't offer a fair reflection of what we've seen. The game's been vibrant. I think the atmosphere has remained buoyant, and we just need the scoreline to, to step into line. So, all square. We need a winner. And we will be back for extra time. And if you're just back, is back on the way already. Bale! He's a good enough try. Bale did give it a fair old crack, and he'll be encouraged to step up again. Vinicius Jun... And that is it. No winner after two hours of football. It is going to be penalties. Yeah, maybe most were not expecting this to go the distance, Peter, but you can't complain about the graft and energy on show. I think the scoreline wasn't from the want of trying, and, and now it's lottery time. Pressure and nerve. After two inconclusive hours, it is penalties. And he's found the net. Well, it's never easy to step up and take a penalty, but he slotted that home with authority. Malcolm next in line, and here he is. Saved! Keeper's done brilliantly. That's a lovely stop from the keeper. He's done his teammates proud with that one. Great stop. Keeper's denied him. I think the keeper's done really well to save that, and he deserves a pat on the back from his teammates. Always a little more pressure when you're trailing, but it didn't show. The third man in the queue. I thought he did really well to hold his nerve then and score that penalty. Calmly, he puts the ball down on the spot. Suarez will take the third penalty. Keepers read that beautifully. He was so focused there. Fantastic save. Madrid looking to extend their advantage. And they're two up. Barcelona have to score, or they have had it. Saved it! And that's won it! Simply, the big day was their day. A day for them and their fans. A truly proud line in their history.
what a moment this is for all connected with the team. It's a day for pride, a day for glory. Another grand chapter to be added to their glittering history. This is where every top-level footballer wants to be after a long season. The Champions League final, only two teams left in the battle for Europe's Premier Club competition. My name's Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary on this final tonight by Lee Dixon. It's Barcelona facing Real Madrid. Got goosebumps just thinking about kickoff time. Got to control your nerves. Playing in a game like this, it's all about the nerves. Nerves can be your friend, but they can also destroy you. Keep them under control. to suggest Real Madrid would make it to another Champions League final. No, absolutely not. When they start off in pre-season every year, they have targets, and one of these targets would have been to get to the Champions League final. There's no doubt about it. Expectancy levels are very, very high at this club. This is what we expect from the Blaugrana. Marc-Andre Ter Stegen starts in goal. Piquet starts alongside Clément Langlais in the centre of defence. Ivan Rakitic plays with Sergio Busquets in central midfield. And the defenders had better be on their toes because leading the line is Luis Suarez. Thank you. And the starting players for Real Madrid. And you tend to know what you're going to get tactically from this team. High pressing. Well, high pressing, high energy. I played this system at Arsenal many a year under George Graham. It doesn't half work when it works well. Sometimes you can just get exposed to the back, but they've got it down to a tee, to be fair. Now, let's see what they can do here. And passing with a velvet touch. Well, how about that? Barcelona forge ahead in the Champions League final with time running out. Well, there's all types of goals, spectacular headers, overhead kicks. This is a simple one, but he still adds up to a goal on the score sheet. Let's have another view of that goal. Back underway, and it's and the whistle, whistle. The cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. And Lee, memories are being made. Yeah, absolutely. It doesn't matter how much money you've got in the bank. Players will always look back at moments like these. These moments where you pick trophies up and win medals. Absolutely brilliant for this group of players. Yeah, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity. And as 
a player, Lee, as a Barcelona player in this case, this is what you want to experience. Well, it is. You have expectations at the start of the season, all those long, hard training sessions in pre-season. You kind of need a goal to get through that pain. And focusing on winning trophies for Barcelona will be that carrot that they need. It's Barcelona's Champions League. And they've got to savour this. It's not every night this comes along. Well, it probably will be here next year, you never know. <laughs> the way they play, but fully deserved. And they'll have uh, celebrations right throughout the night with their families and friends. Well, this is the moment I love, sharing it with the fans. Ticker tapes coming down, the families in the stand giving them all away. But well, they've travelled all over Europe watching this team. Now they get to share in this moment. Fantastic. And it took fire as well as ice on the pitch. Now the chance for a photograph. My mum always told me to get on the front row. She taught you well, Lee. There we have it. The Champions League victors for 2019.